Hello, hello, hello. Hello and welcome back to the OCP, the original Copycats podcast. Mate, how are we all doing? It is January, right? January, currently, it is Jan- 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 January the 7th. And it is our first episode of the year. If we're not counting the 2022 review, which I'm not, so fuck it. I'm joined by Josh. How you doing, Josh? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the mic went. Great. I could see that you were waiting to do something stupid there. <laughs> I was doing it continuously while you were talking. I wasn't waiting. I wasn't oh, waiting. well, how, how are we? I'm all right. Good. Yeah. Um, any, any goals for this year? Live. Nice. I, I can't die. agree more. Um, we got big goals. I'm not going to talk to him about with you because uh, you're right. a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> that face said it all. Um, yeah, cool. Okay, my goal, right, is <laughs> is to be more positive this year. Because, Fuck it out. Yeah. And what, you're trying to do that all in one year? <laughs> uh, also gain a 12-pack and become a multi-millionaire. You know what? Those last two were more realistic than your, <laughs> your first one. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. No, Alex, come on. Positivity. So, <laughs> you're such a negative cunt. I'm trying to I remind myself. Well, that's to what drink they. Water over yeah, cheers. Uh, that's what they say. And it opposites attract, and you're just a positive cunt. Yeah. What well, I've got loads of reasons to be. Maybe I should be more negative. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I don't even know how to be more negative. Uh, tell me your plans for the year, and I'll see if I can. What do you want to achieve by the end of this year? Um, by the end of this year, I would good like good fucking luck. Sorry, <laughs> I jumped the gun. <laughs> it's too early. Do I again? By the end of this year, I think we should be able to hit five thousand downloads. Fuck off! Not happening. We're surrounded by scumbags. This is going to be cancelled by March. I would say we're done podcasting. I'm just having. Trademark. So I don't know whether anybody has heard of this new concoction called Pilk, right? Which is literally Pepsi and milk, and it sounds rank, but it's been endorsed by Pepsi themselves, so it's obviously got something to it. I tried it the other day, and I got to say I couldn't notice much difference. I don't know how what the quantities are that you've got to put in, so I just put in a little bit of milk. <laughs> Otherwise, it looked. I shit. put a spoonful of milk into two liters of Pepsi. I couldn't taste fucking difference. <laughs> <laughs> but Josh has come up with this new concoction, which, what 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 have you done? Well, for Christmas, my lovely fiancé got me a, a literal bag full of blue raspberry flavoured stuff. Blue raspberry is my favourite flavouring of anything. Yeah. Right, not sour. doesn't have to be sour. The standard, just you can get it. Blue raspberry, just standard. And what she bought was two packets of blue raspberry straws and what you're meant to do is it's just sugar well, it's sugar balls with blue raspberry flavored you put them in milk and then it makes your milk turn blue raspberry flavor and i tried that and i was like it's not bad but it don't feel right so i'm not going to do it again and i was like well i've got two packs of these straws what do i do with them so i ripped the top off of one this morning and poured it into a bottle of regular pepsi Ooh, yeah and what was it like <sighs> Well, it made the Pepsi go instantly flat. We nearly, um, forgetting it was sugar cubes. Um, <laughs> oh, sugar circles, sorry. You literally poured. poured three in. There's about, about yeah. yeah. What would you say? On a, on a guess, there's maybe 400 of these little balls in there. Yeah, easy. Yeah, And I poured three in, mm. and the bottle started overflowing with, <laughs> with foams. Um, so I gradually poured more in as the bottle became more and more you know, airless, I guess. The carbonation was dissipating from the drink. Yep. And uh, and now I've got flat Pepsi, but it tastes like blue raspberry. That's cool. Yeah, and if blue, if, if Pepsi ever did buy, uh, sorry, create a blue raspberry flavoured drink, yeah. I think they could. Uh, well, yes, they have the ability to do so. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I meant like it I would be a just, good idea. I haven't just, like, this isn't, you know. Considering they did like a cherry version, which I don't rate, personally the lime one's better i've not tried the lime one i've got cans upstairs oh, try i might have to try one yeah yeah uh regular pepsi's good i like that i prefer it to coke pepsi max is mm. my favorite i can't drink normal pepsi it's too sugary it makes my teeth go like fluffy yeah i get yeah. You. yeah i like pepsi max and diet pepsi 
I see. I can't do the diet. Fair play, but it's something about Diet Pepsi. It just, it's just the flavor's not there for me. That's fair. But I, uh, you know, I still think they're both better than full fat. Yeah. So, fair play. I've had those straws before, but yeah. I had, we had some chocolate and strawberry ones. Yeah. That's and the then problem. we mixed them into the milk, and that was quite nice. That is nice. To be fair. But yeah, blue raspberry and milk, that seems a bit of a strange concoction. I was very worried. It caught me off guard. It was actually reasonably nice, but yeah. I, just, I wouldn't have it again, to be honest. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so today, yeah. we thought oh, yeah. about doing something no way. fun to Holy kick the year shit, off. fun on the OCP. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look, you're meant to be the optimistic. Oh. I'm t- <laughs> for the fuck. You, your natural self come out then a little bit. Forgot about his resolution. Uh, yeah, it's great, mate. It's, this is fantastic. This is going to be so much fun. So I'm going to try not to kill myself. Okay. Uh, <laughs> How dark can I go? <laughs> <laughs> so to New ki- Year's resolution. How about day by day resolution? Try not to kill myself. <laughs> Sorry. One day at a time. One day at a time. One minute at a time. You uh, if you are suffering, um, call Samaritans. Uh, oh, yeah, you've <laughs> suffered. So you you, you have a little speech. <laughs> Not suffered in suicidal thoughts. Oh, really? No. Oh, that's a shame. I never got to that stage. I'm thankful. But if anyone has, go and search Samaritans. Anyway, happy new year, guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love that you didn't go off of what I said, by the way. <laughs> I don't think you heard. No. He's like, I've never got to the suicidal part. I went, no, that's a shame. I didn't hear that. I know you didn't. <laughs> I know somebody will point that out or you'll see it in editing and be like, wow, that's <laughs> fucking dark. You can. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. So we're kicking the, the year off with what should be a fucking great episode. And it is These Scripts Were Written by Robots Part 2. Oh. Motherfucker. I'm excited for this because I, I listened to our recap. I got to this part of the recap and I well, You were there, mate. I, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Carry on. <laughs> I, I got to this part of the uh, the episode. Yeah. And I loved it. Even just listening through the recap, I was still in tears driving my truck. I was listening to this episode and I was still in tears listening to the Transformers story for the hundredth time and I was still crying when the, ca- the fucking Camry turns into a DVD. <laughs> Cars too. <laughs> and that then they shy a buff out of there. So, <laughs> they I, wait for Optimus Prime. For three, three years, years later. <laughs> Optimus is an Uber that turns into a lift. <laughs> oh dear. We so, are stupid. He doesn't have a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and even if she d- he did. <laughs> she wouldn't have a birthday. I've made a rule and I haven't told you this yet. Okay. Throughout this whole episode, if there's a narrator role, mm-hmm. you're doing it. Because when okay. you read out the, if he did have a daughter, she wouldn't have a birthday. And I was like, oh my God, he just adds so much to that line. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, I'll bring my storytelling voice out. <laughs> yeah, but you've got to read it like you did then because that was absolutely amazing. Okay. So you are always, I'll try. You are always like the narrator role. Okay. All right, so what are we starting fine. with? So the first one we've got here is X Men. So we've got Interior X Mansion. Yeah, we've got private we've... school for the weird. <laughs> <laughs> Don't read too much out here. We haven't picked characters. Um, should we um just describe what this is for people that might be joining us? Oh yeah, us? You, yeah, you, you get. So for anyone that doesn't have a clue what we're going on about, this is essentially uh, scripts written by AI. Yeah. So they have forced a bot to watch so many hours worth of content reg- uh, relating to whatever it is that they're writing about, and then they force them to <laughs> write about it. Fucking slavery so yeah it's, some of it's really funny some of it's yeah, shit uh, some of it's but... shit but i think you've got to take the good with the bad you've got to suffer yeah. through the bad to get to the absolute class ones what just, just read a line from that last one we're confused about yeah it says teach son throws a sex drone at the button <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> um, Okay then. <laughs> I thought he said it for a sex drone at his mother. <laughs> oh my god, no, it says sorry, teen th- son throws a sex drone at the button and mum is made. 
<laughs> Fuck it, right, it's going to begin. I don't want to ruin it. Okay, too much. okay, right. So we're going to do the first one, which is X Men. Right, now okay. I think you should be Professor X and I'll be Wolverine. Okay. And then you can be Cyclops if you want to be, and I'll be Magneto, or we can. I can be Cyclops, you can be Magneto. How many we got here? We got Professor X, we got Wolverine. Cyclops, Magneto. Cyclops and Magneto. Okay. Uh, do you want to be. <laughs> do you want to. Thanks for that. Just show me a picture of a naked Shrek. <laughs> That was so random. I know, but yeah, yeah, because I'm on that, and I accidentally swapped one <laughs> left. Oh dear. Um, do you want to be Magneto? I'll be Cyclops. It's up to you. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you, you. Are so I'm the narrator. Yeah? You are always narrator. So X Men. What Interior. does Wolverine sound like? He's what is he? He's like quite. He's quite quite, quite animalistic, cool. isn't he? Yeah. So. Interior, X Mansion. Private school for the weird. The X Men and X Women gather around their manager, <laughs> Professor X. They all have powers. Professor X. Professor X. Professor X. I was trying to zoom in and read at the same time. Professor X's power is wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> Way to restrict that character down to one thing. Oh dear, so, Professor X. We aren't normal. We are mutants. Normal to us is mutants. So we are normal. This is <laughs> this was your first class. <laughs> oh yeah. The X people throw away school books. One is a Wolverine. His power is hard bones and sharp hands made of adamantium. Adamantium. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we do school? Fighting is faster. Wolverines do not learn. I read minds. You read nothing. We each have a usefulness. Storm is friends with a cloud. Useful. <laughs> it's very useful. Storm is the weather's boss. She points at Wolverine, and he is attacked by painful humidity. No! He screams like a wolverine. <laughs> Enough climate. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that was the narrator voice. Wasn't it? Enough climate. We are not enemies. We are a team of friendly freaks. <laughs> oh, God. Shapeshifter Mystique shifts her shape into woman who has a towel. <laughs> she dries the wolverine. X-Men are all friends again. <laughs> but it continues. <laughs> <laughs> Cyclops My eyes hurt people <laughs> All stare at Cyclops The X-Man with the power of hurtful eyes He wears glasses to stop his eyes from murder <laughs> Yes, we all have gifts Presents, future pasts All mutants are good a wall X explodes. In floats Magneto, the least good mutant. <laughs> Still got a little bit of good at him, but he's the least. I hate X Men. I love Magnus. <laughs> I thought he said Polish people. <laughs> <laughs> Foolish X Men. If you were magnets, I would love you, but you aren't. <laughs> That's Magneto, the guy we fight. <laughs> Careful, X-Men. He can kill you with metal. Nobody do anything metal. <laughs> <laughs> Wolverine does something metal. He just starts shredding. <laughs> with that guitar and starts shredding. Wolverine, no! <laughs> Magneto gains several capes. <laughs> <laughs> no! This is why you need school. Next one, Alex. <laughs> Cyclops remove his gla <laughs> Cyclops removes glasses. His eyes are holding guns. <laughs> Biggest plot twist of my life. He thought he had laser eyes. No, his eyes are holding guns. Oh dear. Oh. Okay, so number I'm so, three. I'm, I'm crying. 
<laughs> give me a second. Of it's fine. I need myself. a drink. Give me a second to compose myself. My throat's killing me. I'm crying. This is why I love this. We've done one. We've done one, and I'm crying. Yeah. Oh, this is exactly my humor. Yeah, like, I couldn't pinpoint anything more specific than this as my humor. Just dumb. It's just dumb. Yeah. Oh, right. So who do you want to be? So we got teen son, father, and um, mum. And, and that's it, and narrator. I'll be I'll be the father if you would like, and I'll okay. be the um, mother. Okay, I'll be teen son and narrator. Yeah. So this one's a random one. There's no title to this, so it might be a continuation from a different one that I've not got the other part to, but we're going to read it anyway. Interior. House with 90 computers. A father and a teen son eat in a future kitchen. They eat mustard, the only food in the future. The kitchen smells like burnt Wi-Fi because future. (laughs) Eating is not fun. I want to kiss on the internet. Mum would let me. Mum is gone. She was an app and I deleted her for not living British. (laughs) Brexit means Brexit apparently. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking Tories. Let's push button to bring mum back. Mums are happier alive. <laughs> True, he's not wrong. <laughs> we see a button next to the 59... What? 50 kitchen. <laughs> we see a button next to the 50 kitchen computers. It says, make mum on it. All 50 of them just to make mum. Do you know what I think this might be? What? Black Mirror. I don't know what the, I don't think I've seen Black Mirror. Well, it's very Black Mirror-esque so far. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take your word for it. Um... What, he deletes his mum because he's using No, but it's all to do with, like, technology and how uh, people are reliant on it. It's you. But the button is sharp! The button is totally sharp. Pushing would stab the body. Teen son throws a sex drone at the bottom. Bottom? <laughs> at the bottom? <laughs> oh, God. Alex has never said sex drone and bottom without it being in the same sentence. <laughs> Got confused. Teen Sun throws a sex drone at the button. A mum is made. Where am I? Who are I? Where is I? Why button so sharp? I'm bad mum. <laughs> oh, shit. See you again. Son, the memory is disgusting. <laughs> Why is he turned into that? Son, her memory is disgusting. <laughs> It was a mistake to act like good. No. <laughs> My God. It was a mistake to act like God.com. Mum, please get murdered again. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I did read it right. <laughs> Teen Sun throws a sex drone at Mum. It goes through Mum. <laughs> Hologram Mum from virtual reality dimension. Can't even eat mustard. I would have been yoga, <laughs> mm. Mustard she can't eat. <laughs> Use the sauce, Luke. <laughs> mm, condiment she must use. Not true. I am so real. Mum touches the mustard, but it turns to ketchup, which means we are not in future, but in way past. The computers were rocks. The sex drones were sex rocks. It is 1997. <laughs> yes, because we use sex rocks. <laughs> That's how I was conceived. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to talk to my parents about those sex rocks. <laughs> National Treasure 3. Just like the first two. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got uh, Riley, Ben and narrator. Okay. I'll be Ben. Are you sure? Ben's got the most lines, so I think you'll be Riley. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll be Riley, that's fine. Yeah, give yeah. yourself a break. I'll be Ben. Go on, Mr. Exterior. Mr. Statue of Liberty. New York City. The Fat Apple. I've never heard it explained like that before. <laughs> the big apple. <clears throat> ben Gates, played by Nicolas Cage, stands on the Statue of Liberty's cleavage. His hacker sidekick... Riley Paul, played by Nicolas Cage. <laughs> 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 
crawls next to him. <laughs> Crawling in, in my, my crawl. crawl. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, love, I love it. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm Riley, am I? you got to try and... What does Nicolas Cage sound like? I oh, God. Know. I don't know. I uh, don't know. It just, this isn't really MS Word. <laughs> I kind of like that, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to picture him in Ghost Rider. This isn't like MS Word. Well, fucking Nicholas Cage, though, you've been watching. I don't know. He's always got quite a soft voice. Yeah, I had not really watched any Nicholas Cage things. I only know him from Kick Ass. One sec. If you get it out and he goes, crawling in. Crawling in my crawl. Okay, we're back. We found what Nicholas Cage sounds like now. <laughs> we're, we're, no guarantee we're going to sound anything no. like him. But uh, here we go. Okay, so. Wait. Right. This isn't like MS Word. <laughs> what the fuck? A good thing I made that disclaimer that we're not going to sound anything like it. That was me again. Yeah. Ben finds a hidden safe in one of the statue's tits. Yes! Lads, oh, lads, lads. Fuck you, Ben. Remember the real written on Taft's bathtub. <laughs> That's nothing that like you again. Like, that sounds like um, I started off all right. Riley. <laughs> <laughs> If opening the safe is what you see, shoot it with a gun. What could it mean? <laughs> I've just given up at this point. I've Can actually fucked my voice. My throat is killing. Can we control? I'll delete out of here, please. <laughs> a helicopter hovers in front of Ben and Riley. The villain, Mr. Russia, aims a pistol at the two. He is played by Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Fuck! Not another Nicolas Cage role. How much money do you think Nicolas Cage got paid for this role? <laughs> All right. So the next one we got is Airbud Golden Retrieve ER. Oh, that's Ooh. good. That's you know, that's a good twist there. Right, so we got <clears throat> young doctor, old wife. I'll be oh shit. I'll, I'll have to be old wife. She's got bigger lines. Okay. Uh, all, all my Although women characters. You, you've only got Well. No, because if you go young doctor, you get to speak more. Okay, I'll go young doctor then. All right. Yeah, just to clarify, any of my women uh, characters will be played by the same voice, which is the Queen <laughs> of England. That's fair. R.I.P. Interior. Hospital in a city better than Boston. A sick old man lies in a bed, dying of death cancer. His old wife sits by the bed reading a book because she doesn't get computers. The book is titled... Being old is good. That's optimistic, man. A young doctor electric slides into the room. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Bro, man. That's twice. Are you sure you don't want to read these on your own? <laughs> I'll just sit here and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, carry on. Sorry. You're trying to make him sound better than actor. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Bone. There's a way we can save your husband's life. You can save his life? You're too young. You don't even know Nixon. <laughs> what? You don't even know who Nixon dated. You can't help. You're right. But he can. Buddy, a golden retriever wearing what doctors wear, eight stethoscopes in a doctor's hat, enters the room. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. These are a lot shorter than the other ones. <laughs> they are. This is just called Cheers. So Cheers was an old TV show uh, back in the day. And one of my favorite shows called Frasier uh, originated from this. Right. So it's just a bunch of people in a bar basically talking all the time. Okay. Well, we've got Cliff, Sam, everyone and Norm. Okay. I think me and you both need to play everyone. Yeah. But um, Cliff... I'll play Cliff and Norm. I'll be narrator and Sam. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Interior. The Cheers Bar Hut. Sam, the barkeep, holds a bar... <laughs> holds a bar dead Cliff. Sam, the barkeep, holds a beer to Cliff, the male keep. Little known fact, beer is my son. <laughs> Cliff drinks his beer child. Sam doesn't drink a beer. He is sober. He used to play baseball. He drinks a baseball. 
<laughs> Tastes like triple play. It's not quite what it says, but... <laughs> you missed A, it's good. Yeah, tastes like A triple play. Norm, a guy named Norm, enters the bar. Everyone is happy. Sam continues to use... To... Continues what? to use to, to play baseball. Yeah. <laughs> so he continues to use to play baseball. <laughs> Bye. Okay, everybody. Norm! When my name is forgotten, I shall disappear back to the land of shadows where all is not right. <laughs> God. Is that a good voice? That was good. <laughs> oh. Some of these aren't as funny as others, but we made that very clear at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's still enjoyable. <laughs> oh, here we go. Right. So this yeah. well, is this is a continuation. This is the last one we'll do. This is a continuation of the uh Becky sex woman that's in a the doll, uh, not the doll, in the whale. Sorry. Do you remember? Let's see if I can find that again. And uh, we'll read that one. Okay, so I just sent Josh the original version of this. We'll... Oh, the Saw movies! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll read this again, just for context, and then we've got a continuation of it. Okay, who, okay. who are we playing as? So I think we should play as we did last time. So I was the uh, sexy doll I'll be and the narrator, and you'd be Becky. Okay. Okay, uh, I don't know whether there's any others. Let me have a look at these. We've got Larry and Samurai. <laughs> Larry and Sa what? Samurai? Yeah. Okay, I'll be... Which one sounds better with the deep voice, Samurai or Larry? Larry or Samurai. Samurai? I'll be Samurai. Okay. I'll be Larry then. Larry. Okay. So, Saw 9. So with the dabba, the bang, the bang, diggy, diggy, diggy. <laughs> Interior, whale. A sexy woman, Becky, sex woman, is covered in blood, chained to a bed. She is in a whale, but doesn't know it yet. Ah! Blood is supposed to be inside my body, not outside of it. An old TV turns on. We know it's old because it's covered in cobwebs and voted for Trump. <laughs> I'm remembering this one now. The doll from the other movies appears on the screen, but this time he's sexier. We know he's sexier because he's covered in sex webs. <laughs> Hello, Becky. Want to play a game? Yes, of course. Don't be silly. Yes, 100%. Game, please. <laughs> Becky still doesn't realize she's inside a whale. Becky, you are inside a whale. Becky now realizes she's inside a whale. She's fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> I hid a key in this whale inside your pancreas. Oh no, I hid the key. <laughs> Fuck. I hit the key. <laughs> I hid the key to this whale inside your pancreas. Good thing I'm a pancreas doctor. But since I know you're a pancreas doctor, I took it out of your pancreas and put it in one of your kidneys. The cool one. Oh, fuck. I have no kidneys. <laughs> it does say whispered itself. A countdown starts counting down from one hour on the TV. Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck is that? I didn't do that. Who did that? The whale did that. And then it carries on, because we were so confused as to what the fuck was going on there. Yeah, now we've got an ending. Now we have it? an ending. Or at least closer to the ending. Exterior, the ocean. We see a smirk appear on the whale's face. The whale is played by a shark in a fat suit. Interior, whale. The timer continues to count down on the TV. We see Becky struggle to slip free from the chains. <laughs> You can never slip out of those chains, Becky. Becky slips out easily. <laughs> <laughs> the Home Depot guy lied to me. <laughs> Interior, Home Depot. We see a flashback of the sexy doll holding some chains at Home Depot while speaking with an employee named Larry. Now, Larry, you promised me there's no way up. 
person could slip out of these, no matter how sexy they are. <laughs> Still you. Oh, uh, isn't it? Yeah. I promise, Mr. Dell. <laughs> we see Larry has his fingers crossed behind his back. <laughs> The betrayal. <laughs> Making it okay to lie. <laughs> this computer shit is insanely, like, incredible, by the way. I think this is amazing. <laughs> we zoom in on one of his fingers, the cool one, <laughs> and see a tattoo that says, I work for the whale. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, the twists. <laughs> cut to interior whale. Now free, Becky looks for something to cut open her kidney to get the key for the whale. She sees a table with a samurai sword, a samurai knife, and a samurai. <laughs> Don't pick me. <laughs> Just imagine a table in the middle of a whale. There's a sword, a knife, and a bloke. <laughs> and he's just got... <laughs> Don't pick me. <laughs> <laughs> she picks the samurai. <laughs> we see his face. It can't be Larry from Home Depot, but it's Larry from Home Fucking Depot. <laughs> no! <laughs> Makes it even better you changed his voice. <laughs> oh, God. There's a tear on oh. your face. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> it's just so dumb. It doesn't make any sense. It was fucking Larry. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> he was the samurai. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, we're coming up for about an hour, so that's not bad going there, oh. considering. Um, they were quite short. So do we want to talk about what we what we got planned this year? What we're going to try and do? Yeah, you just you you flow, brother. I'm just I'm just I'm just collecting myself a little bit from that. Twist. Okay, let's uh, just dump me in. All right then. <laughs> uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. That was quite fun. I enjoyed that myself. Good love. I think Josh did by the look of it. I loved it. Yeah, not, <laughs> nothing will be on par with the the Transformers one. That is no. still by far the best. But that that was yeah, that was good. That was good. Uh, right, yeah. So this year, 2023, we are planning on doing some more episodes, believe it or not. I fucking hope so. <laughs> uh, we want to do a few more collabs. We want, right, this is our thing that we want to do. We want to get just people on, normal people, not podcasters, essentially, not celebrities, not big names. We just want to get people on and we want to hear that you've got a story to tell and we want to listen to that story and we want to have a joke about it with you and play some games. That is what we want to do. We yeah. want to sort of, not to mean this in a, a negative way or anything, but we want to represent the average Joe. So, is that right? Yeah, it's just funny watching you go off on your own. Okay, well, I'm just trying to think <laughs> of what I'm going to say. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, so... Again. <laughs> So yeah, the aim of this year is to just sort of get anybody on, really, that's got a story. If you've got a story, we're going to ask people on Instagram, do you want to come on? We already did the other day, and unfortunately we had more of a negative uh, outcome than Because <laughs> nobody not. likes the ginger one. Yeah, literally. It was fucking four or five people said that. Nah, don't like you. Four well, or five people? Yeah. I said yes. You said yeah. You were the only, like, no. <laughs> we had three people say yes, I think. Who were they? Uh, you, yep. Greener Grass, yep. and Zesties. Oh, and Dave. So four. Four people, yeah. Well, that's fine. That's doable. That's easier. Yeah, we, we know them. <laughs> <sighs> Everybody's got a story to tell, but it yeah, won't necessarily... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so... reveal 
He was like the samurai being Larry. <laughs> what a twist. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, join us again next time when we'll be doing something else. I'm not sure what yet because I haven't planned anything. And Do you know what we will be doing? A podcast. Hey. Ah. We can tease ah. something that's happening ah. in a... Ah. That's a crow. Ah. I think that's a pretty good noise. Ah. Yes. Ah. Ah. That's the first time I've ever made that it's noise. It's good. Yeah. I'm genuinely really impressed okay. with that. <laughs> Fuck me. This is what I have to deal with, people. <laughs> Sorry, Gary. <laughs> I'm trying to end the episode with a good thing. <laughs> and he's making crow noises. Oh <laughs> Anyone else want to be the her co-host? <laughs> Dave, Don't put please. that up on a poll because I've just said no. I don't like the ginger one. Go on, um, say what you're saying. Right. We're going <laughs> to... Go on. I'll move it away from my mouth. We've got a thing coming up. We're going to tease a little thing, right? Um, there's, ah, oh, mate, in April, do you know what I could really do? I could, could murder a collaboration in April. Ah! 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 They're spooky, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> ah! I can murder a collaboration! <laughs> so like you going to say it then. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, we forgot. So, yeah, Not that's coming. Me. Um... Keep your ears open for that. And uh yeah, more more big things to come. You know what? I could I could murder her. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So yeah. Take that how you will. Yeah. It's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a depressed crow. <laughs> He's a crower, not a shower. So hey. on that, we are going <gasps> to end today. Jesus Christ. Join us he next time. Us now, oh, mate. God. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop. I can hear you fucking amping up. <laughs> it's like me with the fucking SpongeBob quotes when we're doing that. <laughs> Remind me again. God, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. I'm just trying to get it to the album. <laughs> yeah, see you later, guys. <laughs> <laughs>well that was a good episode wasn't it Josh that was brilliant that was really good I, en- I really I, I especially enjoyed how uh, everyone sounded yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're here just to say before you go could you please spread us around we'd love it if you could just tell your friends about us and potentially leave us a review where you can you can rate now on spotify yes so you can you can rate us so if you could rate us five we'd really appreciate it but if not that's fine too if you do rate us five or anything above i know you can't but if you somehow hack the systems i will personally don't don't continue thank you that's better there we go well done so yes <laughs> if you could please feel free to follow us on all the socials mm-hmm. yeah Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.